Hello guys, what's up? So today, I'm gonna show you how to fix your Xperia device that won't turn on or put off after several reasons. Uh, basically, uh, the problem come, the problem happen when you um, flash some zip file or IMG file and then your phone suddenly turn off and it won't turn on anymore uh, so basically that's the reason why your phone is cannot be turned on anymore so how to fix it I'm gonna show you how to fix it all you need all you need is your Xperia device of course the a USB cable like right, USB cable here and a computer, a computer, and some Sony PC Companion application installed on your computer. So, let's get started. So guys, now on my computer, let's just begin. Open your Sony PC Companion. Click Support Zone. And then you click Pawn tablet software update to reinstall software on your phone so your phone will uh, will able to be used and start up again you will receive a pop-up like this golden fine phone tablet don't click connect you click repair my phone tablet here click repair my phone tablet don't click connect okay <coughs> click it and then you choose your device uh, my device is Sony Xperia C this one and if your device is different with me just just click the bottom one other device yeah this one you click it if your device is not Sony Xperia C but my phone is Sony Xperia C so I click it and then you just click next and then you will um, receive a section like this. It means this is a, just a caution and instruction before beginning the software update from PC Companion. Yeah, click next. Personal data will be lost. So if you don't have a backup, your personal data will be lost. So I, th so I think it's very important for you to make a backup if you love to play on android example like changing custom rom and change custom rom or root your device it's very important to make a backup so click next it's preparing the computer for software update just wait it won't take a long time <coughs> yeah it's done then you click continue the software has been downloaded on your computer click continue okay you will receive a uh, instruction like this what should you do before beginning the installation of software uh, okay Okay, you click next. Um, okay, click next. And then this uh, you need to following my instruction how to plug in your phone to your computer. Hey guys, remember when you want to plug in your USB cable to your phone? Remember you need to press the volume down and connect the USB cable. First, you need to press the volume down hold it hold it until you plug in your USB cable to your phone let me show you uh, first right now I'm holding the volume down and I connect the USB cable to my phone okay wait okay if the green LED show up on your phone it means the computer detecting your phone and the Sony PC companion is already detecting your phone right now so you're ready for the next step so guys have you done my instruction to plug in your 
computer to your PC I mean your computer to your phone if you don't um, we're going to the next step wait until it's been detecting on Sony PC convenient uh, what is this? no 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 okay it's been detecting by PC convenient so it's so your computer is gonna install the software to your phone right now and basically it will take a long time so just wait until it's done maybe it taking about sometime it taking about 15 minutes it depend on your connection speed and it and it and it's done you know so guys it's done right now so yeah you just unplug your device and turn on your device for this okay wait okay so next period is okay my software has been updated by PC company and okay and then yeah it's done yo guys so right now we are almost done so let's see how my phone right now Let, let me unplug it. Okay. So now guys, let me turn on your my, my phone. It should be work right now. And as you can see, it's working. It's booting up again. Sometime when you first boot up your phone, it will take a long time. So just wait until it's done. <coughs> so guys, after several minutes, my phone is now start. My phone is now start up. So let me set up this phone. If you have a backup, you just need to restore your backup from. Re recovery menu you don't need to worry if you have a backup okay but if you don't have a backup so your phone must be back to your factor factory reset I'm so sorry so it's very important for your phone to have a backup and save it to your computer I recommended it very much done Okay, yes. Okay. You're, you're way to go. Finish. Next. Done. Okay. Now my phone is start up anymore. Start up again after taking a problem like that. I think it's soft brick or hard brick. I don't know you can look at it but it's a factory reset my phone is back to factory uh, factory storage or factory reset but if you have a backup you just need to go to recovery menu recovery menu and yeah just restore your user data on your phone it's very easy so guys uh, I hope you enjoy my video and if you think my video was helpful, why don't you give me a like, give a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys, as always, see ya.